One question for each game, Philadelphia, Arizona. How much faith do you have in the Arizona offense? Um, uh, depends on which part you're asking about. Kyler's a must-start. Marquise Brown's a must-start. Zach Ertz is a must-start. James Conner is a maybe start. James Conner is a maybe not start. Otherwise, I agree. Well, a lot of people don't have that luxury. That's the problem. You know? So if you can bench James Conner, you should. But if you have to start him, then you just got to hope that, you know, it, it, as Heath said on HQ yesterday, it's hard to overlook when the guy's getting 18 total touches, you know, so he's probably going to be in that range of, 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 you know, carries and, and catches again. If he scores, you'll be okay. If he doesn't, you're going to be left with an empty stat line, which is what he's giving you more times than not. So if you can bench him, bench him. Yeah. It's just to say that he's going to get 18 touches. That was the first game that he got 18 touches. So but it's also the game that they said they want to feature more. So. Yeah, and they well, but it was the best game script they had, right? That they beat the Panthers, you know, pretty much from start to finish. As I, I don't remember the entire game script, but they're usually trailing. I know I just predicted an upset. Well, I mean, that's the first game we'll talk about, and the Eagles see the fewest running back carries in football, so we'll we'll talk about that shortly. Uh, Seattle and New Orleans, who's the best wide receiver in this game? Chris Olave, D- DK Metcalf. Is it close? Because I feel like it's probably close with all three of these guys, right? Yes. Yeah. If you've got any of those first three, and throw in Thomas, if he can make in a miraculous recovery from his injury, uh, you're looking at four starting wide receivers. But I I love what I've seen from DK the last two weeks. Double-digit targets, uh, at least 18 PPR points in each game. Totally in sync with Geno Smith. It looks good. Dallas and the Rams. Uh, this game is in Dallas, right? Why put it? The no, other. it's in the Rams. Oh, okay, I had it right. Uh, the Rams allow the second most fantasy points to wide receivers. Does that mean mm-hmm. anything for Michael Gallup or Noah Brown? It certainly will help if there's no CD Lamb. But, you know, I mean, the, the Cowboys are, are a very conservative team right now, understandably so, with Cooper Rush. So Lamb is the only one that I would say is, is a must-start guy, and he's been fantastic. Um you get some sleeper appeal from from Gallup, probably ahead of Noah Brown, but both guys are you know deep league number three type of receivers. This week. Okay, Chicago at Minnesota. Dave, are you feeling it? Definitely. At least seven targets in each of his past three games. I believe his targets have been seven, eight, nine, which is great if you watch Sesame Street and if you start Adam Thielen in fantasy football. I think not good for number six in. though. What? It's not good for number six. That's right. Yeah. Too bad for six. <laughs> uh, 15 PPR points. Pencil it in. Bad I'm feeling. Okay. The Bears allow the second fewest fantasy points to wide receivers, and they have faced some, they played, though. Yeah, they, they faced some good one. They faced the Trey Lance in the rain and the Giants last week Not without Giants. Daniel Jones. They don't count. They faced the Packers, the Niners, the Giants, and who is the other game for the Bears? The Texans. Yeah, they did well against Brandon Cooks. They did. I mean, that... I don't. I don't think this is. This is not a defensive here. I know. I know. Okay. Uh, in fact, you want to know who the top two teams against wide receivers are? I already told you the Bears are number two. Who gives up the Giants. fewest points? The Giants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Atlanta. Hey, can you trust anyone in the Falcons' passing game, Dave? You can trust Drake London as a flex this week in PPR. Maybe a low end flex in non PPR. If you're really desperate, or if you're looking for a dart throw in DFS, you can look at Olamide Zacchaeus especially if there's no Kyle Pitts, but otherwise, nah. Jamie, do you like Jeff Wilson, San Francisco at Carolina? Do you like Jeff Wilson this week? Uh, yeah, I think he's a very good number two running back, better in non PPR than PPR. Um, you know, don't overvalue what he did last week, but clearly the workload has been consistent since Elijah Mitchell has gone down, you know, so the touchdown run was great. You see the, the explosiveness is still there. Um, I think you just got to, you know, sort of expect, you know, 11 PPR points, which is kind of what he's given you the the first two starts. If he scores, he'll be uh, unbelievable. So um, it's, it's, it's just a a favorable match, favorable situation. The matchup's not exactly easy because the Panthers run defense has been better than expected, but you're starting Jeff Olson if you have him. They haven't allowed more than 11 PPR points to a running back in three straight games. And it's against Saquon, Kamara and Connor. I mean, it's Connor or whatever, but Saquon and Kamara, I think that, that means something, especially in PPR. We'll find but out. I, I, I like him as a low end number two running back. I think he's okay. We'll find out if Kamara means something, he, or unless he's another one of these all washed up guys. Yeah. 
It's, the NFL is washed up. Are you guys already like in your mind making your running back list for 2023 and just no. throwing out so many names that like no. you know you're not going to have Kamara high, you know no. you're not going to have Dalvin Cook or Derrick Henry high next year. No, you- as, as a matter of fact, um, Todd Rones, who's our uh, our, our most generous donor, yeah, Todd- donator to um, makes the most generous donation to our St. Jude draft thon every year. He asked me something about running backs, and he said, "What what are your what do you think of next year?" I said, "The only thing I know for sure is that Derrick Henry will be a top three running back again, and uh, everybody will doubt him, and he'll just you know continue <laughs> to do this for the rest of his life." <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I it, it think uh, well, it's to be determined. But a lot of the guys that we've yeah. been relying on for so long are really not performing up to yeah. the standards we used to see. But that's that's the NFL, you know. I mean, the scoring is just way down this year, so. Uh, maybe we're just focusing on some people. Okay, last one is uh, Giants and Pat. Oh, by the way, do you like Jeff Wilson or James Conner this week? Wilson. And Giants Packers. Would you start all Packers? That would be Rodgers, Jones, Dylan, Dobbs, Lazard. Start them all. I think if you're in a three receiver league, you're starting Lazard and Dobbs. Uh, otherwise, you know those aren't must start guys yet. And Tanyan's in the in Tanyan's in the streaming conversation. Tanyan's in the streaming conversation. Dylan is a flex. I think I think Lazard is probably good enough to go. I'm a little worried that only one of those two receivers will be good for fantasy because I don't know how much passing they're going to have to do. Yeah. Do you <laughs> like AJ Dillon, uh, Dillon or Connor? Dylan. I've got Dillon ahead of Connor. Oh, Dillon or Wilson? Jeff Wilson. Jeff uh, Wilson, but they're close. 